All right, so this video is going to cover getting a hold of that darn elusive RS Logics Micro Lite software. That that this software is great because it is kind of a freebie package that Rockwell offers to allow you to examine what their software is like, and it really is great for people learning how to program because not only does it have a uh, availability of the actual programming package but it has the communications package that you can work and hook up to it so you can get online with a couple different processors like the uh, Micrologix 1100 or uh, the uh, Micrologix 1000 if you do that I recommend the 1100 because you can do Ethernet and do online and all that kind of stuff online programming but the other thing it does is there's a program called RS emulate that you can get along with it and realistically that program acts just like a PLC. We've used it for years to test our programs on slicks and, and different type processors. So with those three components, you can really get a lot of training done and get a lot of feel for how to use this software. So let's go ahead and take a little time to uh, grab that software and figure out how to get all of that software because they keep on moving this stuff. I mean, it's uh, you put links on, on our site and it just seems to kind of just move to new locations every time. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick video and I guess I'll just edit the video every time they, they may move it. So let's go ahead. All right, first we're going to start out by coming to Rockwell Automation's Alan Bradley page. So it's ab.rockwellautomation.com. Now, whether that changes next week or next year or something, I don't know. They seem to change stuff a lot. But I actually typed in ab.com and it took me here. So it's a, they must put some forwarding links on that. That's helpful. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this compatibility and downloads button right here. So I'm going to click on that. And we have a search window. And I'm going to type in RS. And you can see the, the different options come up here. Logics. And then I'm going to type in a M for micro. See, so you can see there's a micro version. And that only handles the micro logics versions. But there's also the micro light. This is the English version, the EN on it. This is what we want. It says without RS links. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that is going to take us to a page where we can work on, I guess, fine tuning what we need to look at with this. So let's go ahead and click the download button. All righty. And to fine tune it, we need to find we want the latest version we can get, okay? So that's that's important. But if we go in to select the files on this, you can see it's just firmware. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the latest and work my way backwards to the one that doesn't just have firmware. All these are just firmware. See, you've got just firmware upgrades. And I get down to 13. Did I just do 13 twice? Only the video will tell. And I do believe 11 is what we're looking for. So now we can select what we want to download. All right. So we've got all kinds of different options. What we really care about right here are a couple add-ons. We want RS Links Classic Lite. Okay. That's a communication tool that works between RS Logics and a PLC, or in our case, an emulator. So we're going to go ahead and grab the emulator also. So the emulator is going to act like a little RS Logics PLC for us, or a, a little Micro Logics PLC. And then, of course, we want the Starter Lite software without the RS links and the English version. So now we've got everything we want to get. We can go ahead and close that, and we should be ready to download. All right, so right now we've got all the files selected. We see our downloads three. I can click on that and it will take me to an area where I can hit download now. And as soon as I sign in, you'll have to enter. Now you'll have to create an account if you don't have one at that point. 
So uh, you go ahead and create an account. It's a, this is a freebie account. This is not the, the added extra expenses account. And you'll see a license agreement and such come up. And you will have to go ahead and agree to the license agreement. You can accept it or reject it. So I can hit accept. And there's a various different types of, uh, of ways to grab this. You can, you can just use your browser to download it, or you can use what's called a managed download. Now, I've seen people recommend both, both types. I tend to like the managed download because you can continue if something happens and, and goes wrong. These aren't really big files, so it shouldn't take a whole lot of time to, to, uh, to actually get the download. So just make your pick and then you're there and you've got your software you're ready to go now we've already got videos on the site for our subscribers on how to install this software and how to get running with it so you can just move over to those now after you grab this software and hopefully our friends at Rockwell won't move this stuff around again because boy it's kinda like chasing them around I was afraid that they just taken this stuff off but right now we got a little bit of reprieve they're gonna let us have some nice software to use to actually learn how to program the well it, you know realistically this software if you can program this it it really works the type of programming and the and the the mentality that it takes to program with this way is good for a lot of their different processor lines so this is a great place to start if you really want to get started with plc programming this has been russell white with automation technologies for the PLC Mentor Training Center.